everyone welcome to today's video today we are going to be unbagging a crap load of boxycharm boxes today i was going to split them up but i really don't have the time to do separate videos for these boxes so we got boxes from last month and this month and of course it is march so i have a premium box from last month that is for that yeah I don't even know what I was trying to say, <laughs> but I also have the base box and the premium box for this month for March as well. So if you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Sky. I like to review subscription boxes, of course, and I also do Ipsy. It's the only two subscription boxes that I do basically review because they're like the two best ones you can get out there. In my personal opinion, for the base box, it is $25 a month. And I believe the value is like $125 a month. That's usually the range of what it should be. And then for the premium box, it is $35 a month. You get like six, maybe seven full-size products in it. I usually get six every single time. But that one is a value around like $175. Something, somewhere in that range is that price range. I always forget it. I never freaking can remember it. But, you know, I don't have the greatest memory. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys want to see what I got in my boxes, stay tuned and we're about to get jumping into it now. So here's all of the boxes. I can't remember which one's which, which I definitely know the base boxes for this month, but between the premium boxes, we'll have to see when we jump into it. So since we're starting off here small, we might as well go with the base box. So of course, this is for the month of March. And it's a $25 box and you also get five full size products in there and you get to customize just one product every single month for the box for base box and for premium box. So, I mean, you at least get to pick one product and most of the time the value of the product that they let you pick out of the variety that they do have is more than the actual cost of the box, which I think is nice. So you get your money's worth basically. So I, of course, I pay for these myself. I am not sent these. I am nowhere near big enough to even be known about from BoxyCharm or Ipsy. So I purchase all of this myself. I do get add-ons. I've, I've done a lot of orders here lately. And I got boxes piling up over there that I need to do. <laughs> I need to get them done. But I just haven't had time. My boss went on vacation. So there left me picking up his shifts and doing more doubles on top of that. And yeah, there's that. This is what the regular base box box looks like this month. And this month's theme for St. Patrick's Day is Boxy Charm Lucky. So that's what the card looks like. It's actually really cute. They always have pretty cute cards. And they always give you information on the product that you got, what the product is for, or how to use it type of situation and the value. So yeah. And we're going to go ahead and start off with a product that I picked, of course, because I actually really like this mascara. I've always been wanting to buy a full size of it, but I've held off for over a year on doing it and bought other mascaras for I don't know what reason, <laughs> because I wanted to try other ones, I guess. And it is the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. This mascara is beautiful. It really lifts your lashes. It gives you so much volume. It's insane. And I'm honestly shocked that more people don't talk about this mascara because it doesn't transfer. It doesn't do any of that shit. And I have really watery eyes. Like my eyes, if I get one little thing in my eye, all day long my eyes will water. This mascara retails for $26. And just the packaging alone is absolutely stunning. I love this packaging. It's so freaking pretty. And it is a little bit of weight into it but i don't want to open it up because i have plenty of mascaras open right now so that's what the wand looks like it doesn't of course have this around it okay so it's an infinity brush for the mascara the description is this creamy mousse formula was developed with a special blend of whipped melting wax that deliver an immediate full loaded of extreme volume without a heavy feel and honestly i feel that that is true because I mean, of course, when you put la or mascara on, you feel it, but it wasn't so heavy to where it felt like your lashes were trying to fall down, you know what I mean? Keeps lashes flexible while lifting, lengthening, and locking in for 24 hours, smudge proof, flake resistant, and curl. And all them claims are true, at least for me, and I have really watery sensitive eyes. So that is a good claim for that because I can attest to it not flaking, not smudging, and keeping my curl all day long. 
Like, even my fiancé, he was, he noticed a difference when I wore this mascara. He loved it. He thought my life, like, my eyes were really opened and they looked beautiful. He compliments my eyes every day anyways, but he could tell a difference when I used to wear this mascara. I had a sample size of it, like a small travel size one, and I absolutely loved it. So, the second product is by KAB or CAB Cosmetics, and it's a lip oil. Your lips will love this non-sticky instant burst of hydration that comes in six different temp tints. Jesus. <laughs> Normally lip oils don't have too much of a tint because it's an oil. You know, they don't keep the pigment into it very well. It says swipe this formula on for comfortable, juicy lips all day long. And this retails for $20. I have never tried anything from this brand before. And a girl I watch from here on YouTube, her name is Kelly Strack. She loves this brand. She has some things from them that she was saying that she really liked because most of the time, most of the time, me and her end up getting like almost the identical box every single time. But she, of course, gets hers to sit to her in PR. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, wow. The packaging actually is really nice. You look at it and I really like the color. So I highly doubt it's actually even going to be this color. Like, seriously, I highly doubt it. Yeah, see, it's basically like a clear lip oil. Mm, it smells like pina coladas. Yeah, it has like that coconut scent. And it feels very, very good and hydrating. I love the way that feels. That's actually a really, really nice lip oil. But, of course, it doesn't have a tint to it. It's clear. It's a lip oil. Lip oils don't have freaking tints. And it's funny that they say they have six, I guess that's what it said. Yeah, with them saying there's six different tints, like the one that she had, Kelly had on her channel, was like a reddish tint, and it still was clear. So all lip tints, or lip oils, I mean, have no pigment to them, basically. They're not going to show a color on your lip at all. It's basically just clear freaking lip oil. That's all it is. And that retailed for $20. The Illuminati Cosmetics sponge is what I got and I have one of these I have the black one and I really don't care for it it's like very very hard I've washed it multiple times after I've used it trying to see if I can break it in to see if it would work pretty good but really it doesn't I'm just going to keep this and give it to one of my friends this retails for $21 and it's definitely not worth no fucking $21 in my personal opinion and I believe this is the same exact sponge I have but mine's just black you know so it's your typical sponge. It's like bouncy, but it's also hard, like really, really hard. And when you're cleaning it and trying to get shit out of it, it's just so hard in the very center of the sponge. It's really hard to get the soap and stuff out of it because I don't buy the Beauty Blender sponge bar cleaner thing. I just stick with my e.l.f. one. It's for sponges. It's a bar cleansing, you know, soap, and it's like four or five dollars and it works fantastic. I'm so aggravated that I literally have to order it on elf.com. You can't get it at Ulta on store. You definitely can't get it in stores. I've looked at Kroger. I've looked at Target. I've looked at Walmart and I cannot find it nowhere. It's so annoying <laughs> because it's such an amazing soap that really does clean your sponges like instantly. It gets everything out and it's so affordable. It's only $5. Highly, highly recommend it. It's amazing. Grab it while you can because it does work good and it lasts a really long time because you really don't need too much. Trust me. And when you do clean your sponges to get the stains out really good, don't use scalding hot water. Use like lukewarm water or cold water. It gets the sponge or yeah, it gets the sponge very, very clean because it gets the stains out of it, you know. So there's a little tip for you on that one. But that sponge isn't you know, what it's probably amped up to be for $21. I wouldn't, I would pay maybe $3 for that. Just seriously. I wouldn't pay no fucking $21 for that. <laughs> Next product we got is by 1111. I always think I say too many ones. So 111. I always fuck up when it comes to saying the amount of ones. So I'm just going to say 111 skin. A lot of people call it 111 skin, which of course it's not. It's 111 skin. But I always mess up and say like four or five ones. I don't know why. It just rolls out of the tongue, you know. But it's by 111 Skin. And this is their Celestial Black Diamond Contour Gel. Okay. So let's see. This shit's expensive because 111 Skin is very, very pricey. So, wow. Yeah. This is $140. 
It says the contour gel is a peptide pack treatment gel specifically developed to focus on deep set lines and wrinkles due to a loss of elasticity. I don't know why I struggle with that word. Elasticity around the eyes and lip. For the directions on the box, it says massage a pea-sized amount into a small circular motion onto expression lines and around the crow's feet area. Use daily in combination with the 111 Skin Celestial Black Diamond Serum, which I, of course, do not have that. So, I, I don't know. Let's just open it up and see what it looks like. So, that's what the box looks like. I mean, of course, it's always bougie looking. That's just... 111 skin they are very bougie so there is the component okay this is odd hmm oh okay so i'm guessing you would just rub this around where your crow's feet would be and your expression lines which is like right here and on your forehead i'm very expressive like you will see i make a lot of faces i do i'm just that type of person it's very annoying to deal with a line that I have coming in on my forehead and I also have slight smile lines. So I hope, really hope that this may help with it because if it does, that would be amazing. I'm not going to go spend $140 to pay, you know, buy it again. I mean, so if it works, that's amazing, but I'm definitely not going to break my bank to buy it again. I would just wait and see if BoxyCharm would have it on there again. Again, I mean... Because normally when they have these products in their boxes, you'll see them pop up in their pop-up shops or their, um, their add-ons and stuff like that. It just happens all the time. So the very last product we have is by Maven Beauty, which I've never heard of this brand. Nothing. Manny was raving about Maven Beauty. He said that they, I guess they're like a really good brand. So this retails for $22 and this is the Rose Water Setting Spray. I haven't sprayed my face with any setting spray because I just threw some quick makeup on really quick so I could film. I haven't worn makeup all day today. It felt good to be able to sit down. But I mean, of course, all the kids are asleep besides my son. Just to sit down and do my makeup in peace and quiet is actually very, very nice. Normally, I'm rushing super early in the morning trying to do my makeup or trying to film, edit, whatever. I've tried to film for almost a full month and haven't been able to do shit. Right there tells you how busy I've been. <laughs> yeah. But it says, set your intentions in your makeup with this oral lifting antioxidant pack rose water setting spray. Mist all over your finished look to lock it down and prevent smudging up for, wow, for up to 16 hours. Now, if I was wearing this for 16 hours, which, I mean, I could wear my makeup for 16 hours tomorrow, we could see. But here is the packaging. It's actually really cute. I like the whole aesthetic of it. It's got roses on it, on the packaging. It's actually very, very cute. And you get 100 mLs in this, so 3.38 fluid ounces. That's quite a bit. For being $22, though, it's kind of small. You know what I mean? But I don't know. But it is cute. It has a little orange cap. And that's what it looks like. Let's see what this mister is like. Ah, oh, it's one of them. I really don't have... It smells like hairspray. Hmm. It kind of has like a hairspray scent to it. My God, it smells like one of them hairsprays my mom used to wear all the time. Or not wear, but use. Like, I just, I can't think of the name of it. I don't know why, but I cannot think of the name of what this hair, or what that smells like for hairspray. But it definitely smells like a hairspray that my mom used to use. <laughs> it just, you know, amplified the highlight that I have on my face. Because I use Champagne Pop for the very first time today. I've had Champagne Pop in my collection for like, months <laughs> absolutely months and tonight was the very first time that i've actually ever worn it and it's actually pretty damn cute now i see why so many people love it and i'm gonna let y'all know i do have some things by jacqueline hill and i filmed the video but i'm gonna scratch that video because it's just it's horrible it really is horrible everything went absolutely wrong that could go wrong in that video so I'm going to scrap that one and just give you guys like a full on review instead of like a first impressions type of situation. So stay tuned. Eventually I will get to that. So now we are done with that box. Let's add this up really quick and see what the total value of it was. Okay, so the value of the base box for the month of March 
was a value of $229. That is insane. And I already know what made it jump up the most, of course, was the 111 Skin product. But their products are very, very good. I highly recommend them. If you have the money to splurge, splurge. But I'm going to also give you guys a little tip in on that. Wait until you see it up on like Ipsy Shopper or Ipsy Pop-Up Shop or her their pop-up sales or flash sales or add-ons. Do it through Ipsy and then on BoxyCharm also with their add-ons and their pop-up shop. Just wait until you can possibly see if they have some of their products on there because you can snag them at such an amazing deal. Most of the time you're like 80% off. So you're going to spend like 20 bucks for a $125 serum, you know. It's very well worth it. You can really tell a difference when you use their products. And I am excited to try that out to see if it actually does help with the lines that I'm getting. $229 value. That is amazing. So now we're going to jump into the premium boxes. Again, we have two. We have one for February and one for March. So let's get on into it. Okay, so now we're going to get into the premium box for February. Now with the premium box on February, I got this box at like the end of February or the very beginning of March. It was very late into the month and it was just kind of pointless for me to even try to film and put out the video. So I figured I would just throw it in here with this and let you guys know what I think about some of the products, you know, because only one of them I have actually used and it is a micellar water and oh my God. <laughs> That's the first one we're going to start off with. So here is the box. Of course, was for the month of February. So it's the Valentine's Day box theme. And the product that I have been using every single day, I want to tell you guys about. I've literally been using this every single freaking day. It is, I think, Octocyte or Octonite. Or I'm not actually positive on how to pronounce it. And I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. So this is a micellar water. And that's what the package of it looks like. It's so beautiful. It's heavy, very, very heavy weighted. And it's a thick frosted glass bottle. Beautiful packaging. And this product is amazing. It has a very, very refreshing scent to it. Every single morning I wake up, I go into my bathroom. I do it either with a cotton pad, which is very rare for me to do it in the morning with a cotton pad. Because, I mean, you do get dirt and build up grimy nasty stuff from sleeping you're sleeping on a pillow that has your dead skin cells on it all that shit so really you should do it with a cotton pad but I just take a little bit of it pour it in my hand and I just rub it all over my face and it just really wakes you up it's very refreshing it has a nice like minty citrusy type of scent to it it really cleans the skin it's great for removing your makeup for when I get out of the shower I will put some of it some of it on my face rub it in really good and my face just feels hydrated. It feels healthy. And I've actually noticed a difference with my skin since I've started using this. Like, I have noticed a difference with how well my skin has been doing. And it's heartbreaking that it's $39. It says, an all-natural, no-rinse, micellar water formulated to make cleansing quick, refreshing, and effective. Holy basil and turmeric are infused in aloe vera juice paired with salicylic acid and grapefruit to sweep away dirt, makeup, and pollution in one easy step. Skin vibrates with a new feeling of purity, comfort, and freshness. How to use moist and cotton pad and gently sweep over face, avoiding eye areas, no rinse necessary. Perfect for all skin types. I have dry skin, so this really like absorbs into my skin so nicely. I can really feel it like quenching my skin. It freaking is amazing. So I really hope I can get it for a discounted price. So I'm going to stop talking about this and it's blue. Like the micellar water is blue and right there shows you <laughs> how much I've used this stuff. I know I've kind of like overused it here and there when I was taking my makeup off with it. Again, $39 though. This product, I was like, really, why the fuck did I get this product? I didn't want it. I really don't care too much for Huda's product when it comes to eyeshadows. And I heard that these ones absolutely sucked, <laughs> like legit sucked. But I love greens and I love blues and colors like that. So, I mean, I'm going to try it. I will. But this is the Pastels Mint. And it's Huda Beauty Pastels Obsession Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette. It says, create limitless looks with from soft, pretty, glam to bold runway styles. 
this <laughs> with these pigments you're right powered palettes containing a variation of nine dreamy mattes high shine metallics and next generation shimmer swirls this retails for 29 dollars so yeah that's it comes in like this cheap ass plastic package that you get it in so you can actually see the palette through it so it's just a clear box is what you get in and there's the palette the palette is freaking cute as can be like I really do like the way that it looks but the color story I do like and I think all of them look absolutely stunning but you know some people say that they don't work very good that their pastel her pastel ones for the obsession palettes were like really bad for the formulas the color story is absolutely oh it's so freaking cute though it makes me sad that they're not I guess that good you know so I just swatched my finger in that swirl one, and that is a really pretty color though. So that's like a topper, of course. That would be really nice for a topper. So I'm going to swatch this bottom minty one. Oh, that's really pretty too. And that's a good topper as well. I mean, they're swatching okay, but you know, it all comes down to how it applies on the lid. And they seem pretty powdery. And um, honestly, they look almost identical. I wonder if they're going to look the same swatch. No, okay. So you can see the difference between the green and the blue. So, I mean, they may do okay. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll have to, of course, test this out in a new makeup first impression type of video. We'll have to see whenever we do get to one of them, finally. Because I have multiple of them filmed, just not edited. This product I've actually been wanting to try for a really long time, too. This is the KVD Vegan Beauty Go Big or Go Home Mascara. And honestly, they just switched their name back to KVD Beauty. I think that's what it was originally. I'm not sure because it stands for Kat Von D. And as you can see, this says Kat Von D. So this is one of the older ones before they even bought it, I guess. And it looked like it would be a good mascara. I've always wanted to try it, but of course I'm not going to open it because I'm not going to open it. I have one other mascara here that I'm not opening, so I'm going to wait, use up the ones that I have right now open. But the packaging, I just love the packaging. I loved Kat Von D for years. I really did. I never knew she was in these candles until just recently because I didn't even know she had a fucking makeup line. I didn't. I had no clue. Because if so, I would have been buying that shit a long time ago because her tattoo artistry is fucking phenomenal. So I was a huge fan of Kat Von D. Still was until like I found out all the, you know, I don't know exactly everything, but I know she was involved in some shady shit. And so a lot of people kept buying her stuff and her business basically went downhill because of it. So she had to get rid of it and all that shit. She supposedly said that she's just too busy and can't handle the business anymore. And that's why she wanted to let it go. But I don't know. I don't know the truth. I don't know anything really when it comes to the whole situation with Kat Von D exactly, but she is no longer a part of the brand. This retails for $24. It says this extreme volume vegan mascara is powered by plant-based fat, fats, I almost said facts, <laughs> fats. The long wear mascara has a smooth texture that glides onto lashes for big blown out volume, delivering an eye opening effect that lasts all day without smudging in high pigment trooper black okay so that's her trooper black i love her trooper black um eyeliner that stuff is amazing it's the only freaking like felt tipped eyeliner i can use i just can't use any other ones but that one that's the only one that i can actually get you know really good detail work with i've already had one of these before and i gave it to my aunt and she never answered me on if she liked it or not so I'm just going to hold on to this one myself again. But this is by Tarte. And I got some new things by Tarte too. And I'm actually wearing one of them right now. And it's freaking beautiful. It looks so natural. Oh, yeah, we'll have to get into that when we do another first impressions. Or I'll just do a review on it in general. This is the Tarte Double Take Eyeliner. Get the perfect wing every time with these gel and liquid partners in line this best-selling vegan dual ended eyeliner has a waterproof liquid and a gel formula oh and gel formulas will cause some serious double takes this product is full size made just for charmers and is not for retail sale 
really, because I've got this before. <laughs> I don't know if it was in a boxy charm, but I know I've got this from a subscription box before because it is double sided. And I'm pretty sure you can get this other places too. So I don't know why they're saying that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can get this at like Tarte or whatever the fuck. I don't know. The felt tip on one side. And it's actually a pretty decent felt tip. It has some pretty good pigment to it. And it's actually pretty smooth. It reminds me a lot of the Kat Von D one actually. And then you of course get the black eyeliner on this side. And it's a very creamy black eyeliner. It has a good pigment. And it stayed on really good. It's just she was really needing an eyeliner. So I was like, hey, here, I have these. I gave her a handful. I was like, here, use them, take them. You can have them. I have multiples that I need to get through myself. I would rather them get put to use than go to waste. And that was like last year. So I don't even know if she liked it or not. And that retails for $24. Now I got another freaking lip product. This is... The Bali Bomb Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm. This retails for $33. What? <laughs> Essential oils and sweet orange and coconut gives this lip balm its citrusy, tropical aroma and silky smooth consistency. Sweet orange is packed with vitamin C, which is known to even skin tone and protect against free radicals. Coconut is a natural emollient that moisturizes for soft, supple lips. And retails for $33, like I said. It's a vegan formula, of course, because it has the V right there. And I have so many freaking lip balms opened right now already. I might just go ahead and throw this up and let my old man try it. Because I just bought him two more of his favorite lip balms that he loves from Malin and Guess or Goats. I, I don't know how to pronounce the name correctly. But he absolutely loves them. They're $14 a piece and they are really good. But Britt Clark Thank you, Britt. You got me hooked on the Jack Black one from Ulta that I get, which is this lip balm right here. Britt Clark got me hooked on this one, and I got the Shea Butter one, I believe it is. Yeah, the Shea Butter, and it's got SPF 25 in it, and it's $8. 8 bucks 33 I'd rather go with the $8 one, and it has SPF in it. It's very moisturizing. Really, really good stuff. So I will put this up for, you know, the future hubby to try at some point. I'm sure he will. But this is the last product I got, and it's by Elemis, which I love Elemis products. Their products are really, really good. This is the Elemis Peptide Plumping Pillow Face. It says, this super cooling gel mask glides onto the skin, creating a biomedic veil that is clinically proven to lock in moisture, leaving skin looking younger and feeling plumped with moisture upon waking. I could definitely use something like that in my life all the time. So that's what the box looks like. I always love their packaging. Their packaging is always very nice, luxury looking and, you know, very weighted. So there's the packaging of it. It's gorgeous, beautiful purple, heavy weighted frosted glass. So with their products, they always come with this plastic little tap up here. But it does get very messy, as you can see. Like so much product slides everywhere because these little white caps don't actually like fit perfect into their stuff i don't get why they don't make it to where they fit perfectly and it looks very hydrating as well very very thin it would be good to be able to like leave on because overnight you know your skin's gonna really soak that in that feels pretty darn good it does have fragrance to it though it kind of smells like licorice a little bit oh i don't know about that it kind of has like a citrus licorice type of scent to it it's a weird scent it's not like super strong but it does definitely have a fragrance into it and i know a lot of people are very sensitive to fragrances so i don't know if you would like this if you're very sensitive i am sensitive but sometimes i can wear thing or use products that have scent it depends on what type of scent it is if it's an oil if it's an oil i can't use essential oils usually and I can't remember if this said this has, it does kind of feel like it has an oil in it. It just says it's a gel. So it's definitely a gel formula. That's why it's very thin feeling. And it does definitely moisturize and sink into the skin really nicely. My hands are all sparkly from the freaking eyeshadows up here. I forgot to take those off. And that retails for $65. This is the very last premium box. And this one is for this month. This one I haven't opened because I literally just got it yesterday. Of course, there is the theme, Lucky, because it's for St. Patrick's Day. You get, I got six products in here from what I just counted. So this is what I got in the box. It looks like 
more skincare than makeup again. And I don't get it. Like, I have my stuff set to where I get more makeup than I do skincare. And I'm getting more skincare than I am makeup right now. In, like, all of my boxes. And that's kind of annoying. You know what I mean? I, don't get me wrong. I love skincare and stuff like that. But I get so much every single month from boxes. It's insane the amount of skincare I have. Which, don't get me wrong, I have an insane amount of makeup too, but I always try to go through and use something new every day. Like, just swap it out. Not new, but just continuously swapping products out. And that's what, for next month, for April, I think I'm going to do a no purchase that month. Like, no purchases at all. And just do shop my stash all month of April. We are going to start off with the very first product, and this retails for $145. Kypris Illuminating Eye Serum and Primer Plus Shimmer Palette Set. Okay, so it's a set. So do you get like three or two products in this? I don't know. Let's read this real quick. It says, this pairing packs technology forward skincare first illumination and shimmer. What? <laughs> that just like don't make sense. This illuminating eye serum. Oh my god. This illuminating eye serum and primer creates the optical illusion of a brightened eye area. The shimmer palette offers active, buildable shimmer for your eyelids and skin. This set is made exclusively for BoxyCharm and it's not for resale. Okay, this is a new launch, which actually I have two products that says new launch right at the side of it. So I didn't realize that on the other ones... Yeah, with the other ones, it doesn't say new launch on them. So these are two products that are brand new, which that is really cool. But if it's, you know, just for BoxyCharm, then technically it's not a new launch. Unless BoxyCharm is the one that's showing it first. And then other retailers and stuff like that will have it. I don't know, though. I don't know the whole, you know, business aspect of that when it comes to BoxyCharm getting new products that are new launches. Is a serum and an eye primer, I guess, and a shimmer palette. So let's dip on into it. So that's what the package looks like. It's actually really cute packaging. I, I just couldn't see myself spending $145 on this. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, I don't know. It says active illumination for eyes and body. That's the shimmer palette. So you can use it on your face or your eyes or your body. And then the illuminating eye serum and primer. I like their packaging. Their packaging actually is really cute. It reminds me a lot of like Charlotte Tilbury vibes with the whole serum thing and ColourPop. You know, with their face milks and shit. <laughs> or whatever it is that they have. So this is the Illuminating Eye Serum and Primer. You know, how many times have I said that word? Illuminating Eye Serum and Primer. They're actually very gorgeous. It does remind me a lot of like the whole Charlotte Tilbury and like ColourPop mix. You know what I mean? Okay, so, like, this is thick. Very, very thick. Oh, what? I don't know if I would be able to deal with that. It's like a no scent, but there is a scent, like a slight coconut and like a bar soap type of shit. It does have like a pearl reflect type of thing inside of it. But wow, look at that. It, like illuminated a lot of my redness in my hand that is actually really nice it does feel tacky and it definitely sunk into my skin pretty good but it does have like a tackiness to it and it made my hand feel a little tight let's do it on this side just for shits and gigs why not this side of my hand is always like severely red because i have so much nerve damage in my hand and that shoots up my arm so it causes a lot of inflammation and stuff like that. That's why my hands are always super red. I have carpal tunnel arthritis. That's just my issue. I, I can't help it. There's nothing I really can do with it other than surgery. But that's still not going to help my redness. But it did cover it up just a tad. Because like right here is a swatch of a pink lipstick that I did hours ago. <laughs> like literally hours ago. So it did you know, cover up some of the redness on me. It, like, corrected it. So that's nice. But it did dry down, you know, like, a matte type of primer. It felt hydrating at first, and then it dried down to, like, a, I want to say, like, a satin matte type of finish is what it's feeling like on my hand. 
and it does have illuminated properties in it. It actually feels really good. I guess I'll be testing this bad boy out tomorrow before work. This is actually really cute. But you know what? This reminds me a lot of the Makeup by Mario one that happened. Like his like metallic thing. This really reminds me of that. This is cute. So this is like supposed to be your eyeshadow palette. But you could definitely use a couple of these as highlights if you really wanted to. If they were, you know, that good of a formula though. So there's that white one. Oh, I like that. That's a really nice icy one. That would be perfect for a highlight. And that one is called Diamond Fire. So yeah, let me swatch these really quick and I will be right back because these actually look really good. Okay, I know this is like really close for every single one of them being swatched, but it's in order of the palette. And these all are absolutely gorgeous. These lighter ones are so freaking reflective. They're absolutely stunning. I just can't get over them. They do have glitter in them, but they're like very, very small glitter. And it has like, it looks like it has like pearls inside of it maybe. But now this does feel like a very powdery, chalky type of eyeshadow formula. So I really don't know how well it would use or be good as a highlight. But, you know, just to add some because I don't this is all matte this was a cream blush that I put on my eyelids for like a monochromatic look type of situation so let's see what these look like on the eyes oh that's really cute but on camera it's not showing up as much in my mirror it actually looks really cute I like that so I'll do that was of course the white like shade and that one's called diamond fire and I'm gonna do sun glitter which is this pink shade and I'm gonna put that over here just to see if maybe you guys can see a difference because when I was swatching the these two shades with my hand it was actually kind of hard to tell the difference you know what I mean because they have such a high shine to them they almost look so similar on the hand so okay you can see the difference on my eyes here's with the pink one and there's with the white looking shade so there's the names of them it's actually a really cute little palette it's called starlight diamond fire sun glitter gold aura in shadow alchemy i mean i went and paid 145 dollars for these two products maybe 50 at the max is what i would pay they just don't feel 145 dollar quality to me you know what i mean like they just seem very expensive for their price basically got seven products which isn't bad for this box so the very next product i got is the other new launch product and this is glow skin beauty the Beta Clarity BHA Drop Salicylic Acid Retinol Clarifying Serum, which, hell yes. I just realized this whole time I didn't have my lights on. I am so sorry, you guys. I completely realized just now that I didn't have my lights by me this whole freaking time. The very next product I got is a brand new launch, and it's by Glow Beauty. It's Glow Skin Beauty. Beta Clarity BHA Drop Salicylic Acid Retinol Clarifying Serum. So this is a brand new launch as well. I've never tried anything from this brand before. So I'm actually really excited to be able to try this. But I don't want to open this up because it is a retinol. And retinol can go bad. Which a lot of skin, all skincare can go bad. But that one was like a serum slash primer type of situation. That's why I did it with the other product. But this one I'm not going to open. And it's actually a really cute bottle. That's... It's a cute little bottle. It's glass. It's nice. It's a little bit weighted and you get 30 mLs in there. So one fluid ounce. Okay. It says this clarifying serum helps improve the appearance of texture, draw out impurities and minimize the look of pores with retinol, glycolic acid and salicylic acid. Okay. So apply drops directly after cleansing and toning to, dis 
two to seven nights per week or mix with other serums and moisturizers for a clarifying views to avoid eye area. So really don't use retinol seven nights, seven days out of the week. Start slow. Use it one time, give it a week, the next week, do it twice a week. Then, you know, just gradually go up. Gradually. And if you have dry skin, you really only want to do it like two to three times max at at once. Unless your doctor tells you otherwise. I am not a professional, so I can't really tell you like, hey, don't do this, don't do that. Just be aware of what ingredients are in your other skincare products before you do any kind of retinols. When I do retinol, I don't do anything other than a typical basic moisturizer and that is absolutely it. That's all I will use because I'm too scared to mix up, the, you know, different ingredients with a retinol. I just am nervous about it. And that retails for $48. So the next product I got is by Bite Beauty. Ooh, I've been wanting to try their uh, change maker foundation and stuff, but I never still, I had a, like a sample little thing of it one time and I never used it after that. Okay, so this is their Outburst Long Wear Lip Stain in Intensity Bold Clean Lipstick that's hydrating, long wearing, and lightweight with easy application and waterproof wear. Oh, that's cool. And it's $27. Now, the shade that I got, I can tell right now, I'm probably not going to wear it. It's called Sangria Slush. Yeah, I don't know about that. So there's the packaging of the Bite Beauty, which is their basic packaging. I couple lip products by them but they're like their metallic ones and I didn't know they were the metallic ones I wouldn't even got them but the colors are beautiful guava glow or guava something like that and I can't remember the name of the other one but they are beautiful there's a packaging it's really cute it's very small too so yeah look at that that is bright so I'm just gonna dab and like do that Okay, so with the claim of it being hydrating, I don't really see that. If it's creamy, it is, but it doesn't have a whole lot of hydrating, you know, property type of stuff to it. it kind of feels like a matte lipstick. It is tacky on the lips. I don't know if you're saying that, but yeah, it's a little tacky. I mean, it's a pretty color as long as I, you know, at least put a tiny bit on and then smeared it out I think I would wear it but being at the full pigment I don't know if I would I would have definitely preferred having like a pinky or mauve toned or a cool toned anything cool toned I'm all for I love cool toned shades but it, it's perfect for spring it is it's a beautiful shade I think it's really pretty and it actually goes good with my skin tone so I don't know you know just wearing like nothing like this on the eyes with this color with regular clothes. I think it's actually really cute. I might wear this. I have a lip liner. <laughs> so this is the House Laboratories R.I.P. Lip Liner. This creamy high pigment lip pencil balances precision with one stroke demi matte payoff to slay your lip look every time. The comfortable long wearing formula was made to outline with ease or fill in for all over color. I love taking a lip liner and just filling in my lips and leaving it alone. That's what I did earlier. I had the Juvia's Place lip liner on. I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's like a really light nude brown type of color. Or I can't say light. It's a nude brown, basically, you might as well say. And I just smeared it all over the lips after I put it on. So here is the packaging. I just love taking lip liners and just putting it all over. Yes. I'm all for this shade. So I just want to dry my lips. Okay. It seems like it's gliding on pretty good and it is a pencil, an actual wooden pencil sharp or lip liner. I like the actual, you know, wooden pencils because they're nice to have. It's not real creamy to where you can like just kind of put a little bit on and then like take your lips and rub it. So you would have to smear it just to give it a light wash. But that, mm-hmm, that's pretty. 
and the shade name is drag is what it's called which i really like this i think that's i think this is a really good lip liner i really love the color okay so we have two products left one is by igk and i know igk is like pretty expensive so this is the prenup instant spray hair mask it says this high powered in shower treatment performs like a traditional hair mask but works in under a minute a multitasking of moistures or a multitasking multitasking mix of moistures including amala oil and kapuka i don't know there's some kind of amala oil and some kind of butter i don't know how to pronounce the butter name <laughs> but it's a deep condition repair and strengthen hair it says including amala oil and some kind of butter i can't pronounce that name deep condition repair strengthen hair while apple cider vinegar adds dramatic shine okay so this is 32 dollars, and it's in shower hair mask treatment so of course i can't like spray it or anything so yeah i will try this out because i use hair masks all the time as you can see my hair is already shiny healthy looking it's doing amazing it's getting so long and of course it's getting hot here in ohio now but it's getting long and i'm so freaking happy because i miss my long hair so bad so the very last product is the diva eye brush that i seen manny use this in his video and he was not like satisfied or not impressed by it period whatsoever <laughs> at all and these are expensive these retail for 48 dollars yeah 48 dollars it says perfect your eye look with this cruelty free brush set from for eyeshadow and eyeliner so yeah here is the packaging and when i seen the brushes on his video i was just like what <laughs> they looked so cheap they are just so cheap looking like they have like this honeycomb design on them these brushes look like they would be at the dollar tree i'm i'm being dead honest seriously dollar general family dollar or dollar tree even walmart target any fucking like mainstream market store type of situation i think i would find these at and he said that the eyeliner one was like really tugging on his oh yeah that tugs wow they look so cheap and chintzy like the packaging is ugly as can be it has like this honeycomb type of design on it as you can see they just look horrible they don't look worth 48 dollars to me so i'm gonna pass this off to a friend of course i'll clean the one that i just had on my eye but there's a going bye bye i don't want them period <laughs> so now i'm going to add up both of the premium boxes and i will come back with a grand total for both of them and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. For the February box that had the Huda and all that in there, that came to a value of $214. And now the next box for this month had a huge price jump. The premium box for this month had a value of $316. So that is a huge, huge price jump. That's a $102 price jump from each month. So February, $214 for the premium. And then march is 316 for their premium for this month that's a big price jump like real big price jump so i mean it wasn't a bad box for either i just wish i always wouldn't get so much skincare like i always say i always say i don't want a bunch of skincare i'd rather have more makeup than skincare but it is nice getting skincare and then i also got a brand new launch which was this. I got another brand new launch this month, which was the serum and the eye palette type situation, which is not bad. It's kind of cute. It is. It is cute. But I don't know if it's something I would use every, like all the time, you know, it would be nice to have for like bridal makeup, you know, that would be cute for bridal makeup. It would. So there is the boxes being unboxed. I mean, I'm satisfied with them. A lot of the products I'm excited to have. You know, I really like that lip liner, but I mean, I definitely need some like lipstick or lip oil on or some. So I'm actually going to apply some of this lip oil because I just feel like my lips look so freaking dry and uneven. This lip oil smells so freaking good. Of course, it did transfer to the applicator. I'm just going to clean that off. 
You just clean the applicator off when you're done when you use like a clear gloss or a lip oil but that lip oil does feel very very nice and hydrating it's thick and it looks like it just evens out the lips i'm all for that the slip liner kind of looks like it's emphasizing the lines on my lips and it kind of looks a little patchy i don't know about that but the rose water spray seems okay i don't like the illuminati sponges i just don't like their sponges the Too Faced Mascara, I absolutely love that. I can't wait to try the KBD one. The Elemis stuff I love. I've really been wanting to try some IGK products. You know, this toner is a damn good toner. I really love the color story for this palette. It is super cute, but I just, I hear so many bad things about the palettes. That's why it sucks that they put them in here, you know what I mean? And the Tarte Eyeliner, I'm pretty sure I've seen that for sale at other places. I'm not absolutely sure, but I'm pretty sure you can get that at like Ulta or Tarte, um, one or the other. Um, I don't know if we will use this eventually. You know, I'll let you guys know at some point if I may try it. Then my brushes were a damn joke. I'm just gonna say that. That was a joke and that was a waste of a product to put in a freaking BoxyCharm box. I'm so disappointed with BoxyCharm putting them in there. Like, them are the worst brushes I've ever seen. Elf makes brushes that are better than that. So does Wet n Wild and also Shop Miss A, AOA. Like, they make better brushes than that and they're so affordable and so cheap. You could get like 10 sets of them for that price. Just saying, like, don't waste your money on a freaking brush set from that company because it just looks like they have shitty brushes, honestly. But yeah, I mean, I'm happy with a lot of the things that I got and I'm excited to try them out. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up or you can thumbs it down. Either way, it lets me know if you, whether or not you do like it or not, so, you know, and also helps out with analytics. So if you guys also want to start a conversation down below, please let me know if you guys got any of these products in your boxes or if you would like to try some of these products or if you do like them, you don't like them, let me know down below. I like having a conversation with you guys. It does help when people comment, like, dislike, share, anything like that. It helps. It really helps push the video out for other people to see and find my channel so they can be entertained by me, which... I don't see much entertainment by me. <laughs> I'm joking. I mean, I'm goofy and silly sometimes, but I'm just like tired right now. So I'm not, you know, all energized, uppity up type situation going on right now. I'm tired. I've been cleaning my house all day long. You know, I got kids. So you're just basically cleaning all day long, running behind them, picking things up as you go <laughs> type of situation. That's what I deal with on the daily. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you would like to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter, I will have it right here for you guys. But if you guys liked me and like this content, you can also hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. It will notify you every single time that I do post. I don't have a set schedule, so I upload when I'm able to. And I also will link the you know, box charm down below for you guys. And I also will link Ipsy if you may be interested. And I will be having my Ipsy Glam Bag video up probably before this video because it'll be a lot quicker and easier to edit. So yeah, I will have that link down below for you guys to see as well. I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you may be. Stay safe out there. Stay beautiful. Bye.